we have two sprites one that the player controls that can move left right and can jump and a sprite that is a bad guy that if the sprite hits you you lose a life let's create another sprite if we can catch this sprite then we gain an extra life for this sprite let's use the parrot there he is for each of these, I've just been choosing the built-in sprites from the library. It is possible to just paint a new sprite, or upload one from a file, or take a picture using the webcam. For right now, we're just going to use the built-in sprite, the parrot. Since the parrot's motion is going to be very similar to the bat's, I'm just going to grab this script for the bat, and I'm going to drag it over on top of the parrot. And by simply dragging it and dropping it, it copies it. It didn't move it, it just copied it. I want the parrot to start off on a different part of the screen. I do want it to change its size to about 50%. Let's see, I want you to start up here though. So about 200, 140, so positive 200, positive 140. Rotation style set to left, right, that's correct. Forever, you are moving 10 steps. You are rotating slightly. If you hit an edge, bounce. You're gonna be flapping your wings. Wait 0.1 seconds. If you touch the cat, then, oh, do not change lives by minus one, change lives by positive one. Glide, let's not have you glide. Instead, if we catch the parrot, let's have the parrot disappear because we don't want to make the game too easy and make the cat able to catch the parrot, catch the parrot, catch the parrot one time after another. So we're gonna hide. If you touch the cat, change lives by plus one and then hide. And you're gonna hide for five seconds, seven seconds. Since we have hide, we also need to have show. If the game stops while the parrot is hidden, then when the game starts back up again, the parrot will stay hidden. So we need to say show at the very beginning of the game. Let's test this out. I want to grab the parrot. I do not want to get the bat. There's the parrot again. And let's see what happens if I touch the bat. Oh, I lost lives. All right, it seems to be working. I can't really jump over the bat. Keep trying to test that out. No, it's not really possible. So we can adjust the cat's jump so that maybe he moves forward a little more. Let's try this. Try jumping over the bat. Hey, I jumped over the bat. The parrot is coming all the way down to the bottom of the screen, and that seems to be a little too easy to catch. So let's add another if. If the parrot's Y location is less than, let's say, negative 60, let's test it out. If the parrot's Y location is less than negative 20, we'll have him turn around. So I need to go to operators to get less than. Go to motion for the parrot's Y location. Y, once again, is up and down. And if it's less than, you know, let's not say negative 20. If it's less than negative 10, then what are we going to do? We are going to point in a certain direction. And here we have the direction that the parrot's pointing in. Let's say point, I don't know, just point straight up, I guess. Let's also speed these guys up, because right now they are too easy to catch. 15 steps. Move 15 steps. All right. Go. Jump over the bat, grab the parrot. Pretty good. Just because I like my games to be difficult, I'm going to duplicate the bat. So I've now got two bats. This bat is going to start out at X location 0, Y location 150. Instead of turning 2 degrees, he's going to turn 3 degrees. All right. 